God, I'm going so slow. My watch doesn't think I'm moving. I definitely am. Welcome back to the channel, Ben here. You're watching Time on Feet. It is the day of the Endurance Life Ultra. Uh, so we're down here at Eastbourne, perfect weather for it. As you can see out there, spectacular today. It's gonna to be amazing running in the sunshine. Uh, there's a bit of wind, but it looks like it's gonna be a tailwind for most of the run today, which is good. It's gonna help push us up the, those hills for today. Quite a lot of elevation. It's about 5,000 feet in total. And actually, this is gonna be the most elevation I've ever done for a race. Uh, similar to the North Downs Way 50 in May, so similar elevation, I think it's only 300 feet or so's difference. Uh, so should be really good, looking forward to it. Uh, we're going to be starting just over there in the distance, you might be able to see them getting set up over there. Uh, and in a moment we're going to head up to the start line and then make our way up to, onto the South Downs Way. <music> We have got a good tailwind behind us, which is nice. But yeah, stunning views already. You can see Seven Sisters or the beginning of it just out in the distance. Wow, steep one down this one. Definitely doing a bit of definitely gonna do a bit of a shuffle down here. Yeah, very up and down over the Seven Sisters. Spectacular though, beautiful. Dave back there who did the white chase southeast 14 mile race last week so I just met him last week and bumped into him on the, the route just near Seven Sisters here if you're watching this Dave hope you had a good run so about an hour in and I'm gonna start on the salt sticks earlier this time so I've got some salt sticks here looks a bit dodgy in the bag actually but I hope I don't get done for doping at the end so I'm gonna have a salt stick now I learned my lesson from the uh Hurtwood 50k where I didn't have any salt sticks until two and a half hours in was cramping up for about 18 miles so starting earlier today so about nine miles in I skipped past the furthest aid station actually because I didn't need any water that was about six and a half miles back there. So I'm gonna go on to the next one and fill up my water bottles there.
Right, gone through the second aid station. So I picked up some water there, about 13 and a half miles in, two hours, five minutes on the clock. And yes, it's pretty hilly. You know, really good scenery, amazing, but very hilly. In fact, I've noticed more people on this ultra than any other I've done before have walking poles. So presumably to kind of, yeah, help with the hills and kind of controlling the legs downhill towards the end of the race as well. I noticed a good few uh, French people here as well. So on the start line, lots of people speaking French, some Spanish as well, actually. And I wondered if that was for a couple of reasons. Firstly, because it's not too far from the crossing here. So New Haven to Dieppe, Dieppe to New Haven, if you're coming from France, isn't too big of a journey. But also the ultra I'm doing today, as well as the marathon today, is a UTMB qualifier. Uh, not for the full version, but for the 50K. So it could be why it's a good number of people who've come across from the continent to give this race a go. almost 16 miles in uh, and I'm feeling really good actually there have been some killer hills back there but overall feeling good enjoying it did take a wrong turn back there but quickly realized with a couple of other guys ahead that we've gone the wrong way and I think we probably added on maybe 0.3 of a mile so not too much overall right last checkpoint three and we're about 20 miles, well coming up to 21 miles in. Yeah, feeling good at the moment, but I know that there's some killer hills later on. So in the last six miles, so I'm gonna pace it a bit for those. Right, so we're coming near to the finish point now at about 26 miles. However, those of us who are doing the ultra have to do the 10K loop as well. So it's gonna be a bit of a psychological challenge here, getting to the end and then coming out and doing another loop. Really tough miles the last few actually. So going into the headwind, things settle down a little bit here. Hi there. Oh, thank you. That was the start line there where we started and now we're just going up to the 10k loop to finish off. Wow that hill looked a lot more doable at one mile in than it does at 27 miles in but these hills are sent to test us so only a few miles to go. I think we've got four or five miles so I'm gonna walk that hill then hopefully there's some downhill after. so slow my watch doesn't think I'm moving I definitely am okay a mile ago a mile to go to the finish definitely spent now definitely ready for the finish line finish that way is it oh cheers thanks
Endurance Life Ultra. Massive thanks to Endurance Life for putting it on. Uh, it went really well. Uh, we had quite a tricky headwind on the way back. I should have known really actually, because on the, the way out when we were running west, we had an amazing tailwind. It felt like it was kind of propelling you uh, along Seven Sisters and the cliff paths there. Uh, and of course, the, the law of uh, weather and science suggests that if you've got a really good tailwind going one way, when you come back the other way, you're going to have a serious headwind. So we had kind of 20 mile an hour headwinds. And it, it was the kind of wind where you were kind of running and then it felt like you weren't going anywhere. Uh, so it was, it was pretty tricky. So I had to slow down more in the second half than in the first half. Um, but came out with a really good time in the end. I was really pleased with it. Uh, 5.18 and my watch registered a 50k PB as well. So sub five hours, uh, which I was really pleased with. Not an official uh, 50k PB because the, the race was a bit longer than that. It was 32 miles and a bit. Uh, ended up being 33 miles on my watch with the, the bit where I got lost, the extra kind of 0.3 or 4 of a mile. Uh, but yeah, really great event. Uh, massive well done to everyone who took part, whether you did the 10k, the half marathon, the marathon or the ultra. I uh, hope you enjoyed it as much much as I did. Uh, Carla did really well too, so she did the, the half, a very hilly half, uh, and came out in uh, 2.18. So yeah, it's done really, really well to get, you know, first in uh, the YHA Southeast last week and not 10 minutes off her time, uh, and then to be running this week, a very hilly one, uh, with a good bit of wind and coming out with 2.18. So really great running from her as well. She's actually got for her next event, the uh, Brighton Trail Marathon. So I'm gonna be running that with her uh, and then filming it as well because that's her first marathon so I'll be bringing you that on the channel uh, for you to see how she gets on and, and a little bit about how she's preparing for it too as her, her first marathon and, and first trail marathon. So thanks for tuning in everyone, hope you enjoyed it, like the video if you did uh, and I'll see you all for uh, another one very very soon. Uh, so my, my next race is going to be the North Downs Way 50 coming up in May so I'm going to have a recovery week now, legs feeling a bit stiff, I was, I was cramping up actually in the last couple of miles there. Uh, so I'm going to recover next week uh, and then I'll be bringing you some more videos on the channel very very soon. Have a good week, enjoy your running and see you all very soon. Never actually done this before, so I thought I'd just try and run after the Ultra and see what it's like. I think it's going to be quite a sorry sight, but I'm just going to give it a go. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's not particularly good. Yeah, I wouldn't advise it. Don't do it. Bad idea.